And Notre Dame has been driving here, Peter. Shotgun quarterback is looking. He's got nowhere and throws it away left side. Yikes! Yikes, yikes. Cheerleader just got a free nose job. Look at this. He throws it away. She's not expecting it. And she gets fucking sniped. Right in the nasal oh, fucking knife for Davis. Look at this. He is tagged out of the play, but even a worse moment right here. Imagine getting dry humped by Joe West. There is nothing worse, and you can see it in Davis's eyes. He's like, uh-uh, what am I, in prison? Jesus, Christmas. Let's get back to baseball. And in the shotgun is the quarterback. Play action. Good drive so far. Does it get better? Yes, it does. Leaping grab for a touchdown, and oh, God, here comes the mascot again. They pay this fucking kid $11 an hour. He's the biggest alcoholic at the school. He dresses up in a lion suit. And then he gets charged for a 15-yard penalty. they got to find a way to control him. Anyways, they're fighting for the ball. It looks like the touchdown's going to stand. But the mascot, obviously, just affected the team pretty bad. But he doesn't give a fuck. He's still hammered from the night before. Jabbering back and forth all game. Quick elbow by Morris. And now this is the best part. Wait for it. He bops him right in the head. He doesn't give a shit. And now they get in each other's faces. Tensions flare up. And let's look at the replay. Bop! Right there. It's like that game of the arcade. We just pop those little alligators. <laughs> Anyways, it is... We want to thank little Johnny from the Make-A-Wish Foundation for making his way in here. Oh, my goodness! He's fucking dead. His head is gone. He's got the ball. Slings it right side. Interception! And wait a minute. What is he doing? He is going the wrong way, running down the field like the fucking Grinch that stole Christmas. And he's eventually tackled by his own teammate at the 10-yard line. That's a fucking brain fart right there if I've ever seen one. Either that or he's got serious connections to the mob and there's some sort of shady shit going on with the betting lines here. At the 20, 10, tripped up again by his own teammate. Shitbag titty fuck of the week nominee 100%, Peter. Back to you. No, that is not good, and the horses say, fuck it, Peter. They are sick and tired of being treated like barn animals, and they let those humans know. As you can tell, folks, we are just telling you this is not a terrorist attack that's taking place. As you can tell, she's walking around like it is, but she's fine. She fell off the fucking wagon. She's going to be just okay. I think they're overreacting a hair, and look at the replay. Down they go. And Bambi and Stuart Little, the two horses, they didn't want any part of that. The good news for Oklahoma, though, things aren't going well on the field. Well, at least with the mascots or whatever those fucking horses are. 28-7, to they're leading. As for the girl in the middle, chill out, you're fine. We've been waiting for this fight for quite some time, and I'll tell you what, something is wrong with the referee. We haven't figured it out yet. We don't know if he smoked a crystal meth banger. Either that or he's auditioning for Dancing with the Stars. Down he goes. Peter, this is Thailand. It's mostly known for its cheap hookers and getting hand jobs behind dumpsters in alleyways. I don't know why Peter just handed me that note. I don't know how accurate that is. Excuse me. But we are back to the action now as this ref is on one. He went out last night, didn't sleep, came to ref this fight, and now he's Superman through the fucking ring. This guy is unbelievable. They're dry humping each other now. We need to stop this madness. This fight is over. At the 25 30, he's got a little. Holy shit! I mean, coach puts him in the game. Poor kid just hit puberty. No idea what he's doing out there, and he gets fucking jacked up. He's been here so many times before. A chance to win it. Not even close. Oh, my God. He pulls it. What did he do last night? He must have went out and got zapped. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is happy. Brissette's unhappy. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to win this one. And our producer, Peter, is whispering in my ear, saying it might not have been Vinatieri's fault. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, my goodness. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel, always laces out, and that is a shame because you practiced this so many times, and for number eight to play and simply just fuck this one up, not a good thing. 
Vinatieri still a candidate right now for shitbag titty fuck of the week. Stay with us. And snap to Jackson. Play fake. He's got himself room on the left side. And he's taunting the Patriots' defense. He's saying, we're not afraid. Welcome to Baltimore. A lot of game left, though. Wow. And Harris with the ball. The shotgun hand out to Johnson. Up the middle. This kid's fast. Breaks a tackle left side. He's got room. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Peter, where did that guy come from? Casper, the fucking friendly ghost, comes out of nowhere from the sidelines. Wasn't even playing and just jacks up the running back. That is dirty. That is disgusting and downright rotten, Peter. Back to you. Oh, my God. There is a huge black pussy cat on the field during Monday Night Football. That girl is way too concerned. She's probably a member of PETA, that group that puts animals in front of humans. I don't get it. Of course, she's one of those fucked up weird cat people. We never got along with them. Anyways, the cat scampers off the field. We are getting back to Monday Night Football. Not a great sign for the Giants, Peter. And check out this save here by the goalie, but not so fast. He gets stoinked in the face, and the goal is going to count, and he's not happy. If he completes this dive, he is the national champion, Peter. That's not happening, though. My goodness, look at the replay. I never liked this kid anyway. Walks around with his pink Speedo, thinks he's the man, and channeling his inner Fabriga. I don't know what happened here. He either had a panic attack or shit his pants, but shit went south quickly. And the belly didn't even hit first. It was his cock, and that's got to hurt. He is going to awkwardly swim back to the ladder, and let's be honest with you, that's going to be all zeros. Ball the top of the key, driving inside. Get out of here, you little pussy schoolgirl. Ball moving the other way. Mitchell flying down the right side. Driving in the middle, slams it home, but the referee says no. And who invited the fucking Unabomber? It seems like Tim Donahue has made his way back to the NBA. And from 47 yards, he's got a chance to be the GOAT. To give the Niners the victory. He can either be the GOAT or he can be the shitbag titty fuck of the week. My goodness, he pulls it. And the Seahawks are going to take over. Wow, you'll take a look at this one. That one wasn't even close. That was just a pure panic attack that we just witnessed. And Russell Wilson.